Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be porting some LS cylinder heads. I'm going to be showing you guys how to port these out and make just a little bit extra power. We flow about 40 more CFM, give or take. Probably a little bit less for the exhaust side. But we'll go over these ports. I'll show you what to grind down in all of them and how to smooth them out. Most of the porting I'm going to be doing, I'm obviously not going to be uh, talking over because... This is loud and air compressors make noise, but a couple of the tools you're going to need, obviously some sort of air Dremel or an electric Dremel if you have one of those. I'm working on buying one of those. You'll need a few various carbide cutting bits. There's a long one I have. Here's another long one. That's just a round head. And a few different styles. You probably won't use all of these. I just have them all out because some of them work better for other things. You'll also need, not need, but this helps, a little sand piece. I have a ton of them in this box. This is just to smooth out all the ports of the head. You know, when you're done actually grinding stuff down, let me get a flashlight so I can show you what we're going to grind. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to grind down, if I can get a good look at it for you. See that bump right there? On that left side, that's the rocker bump. That's where the bolt for the rocker comes down. We're going to grind that down to the point where it's smooth at the wall there. You're going to end up grinding through and hitting the hole that the thread goes into. That's fine. All you got to do is put some sealant on the threads when you put that rocker bolt in. There's obviously one in each port. We're going to grind each one of those down and get it out of the way. Then we're going to come over here. And we're going to grind down that swirl right there to make it even on both sides and a nice, nice tight point on the back. Make it smooth. Get rid of those rough edges. And we're going to smoothen out that split right there. This whole bit coming up here. And smoothen all the edges around our push rod guide right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and smoothen this whole edge going around with the ring is for the valve. You can already see there's a lip right there. We already did a little bit of grinding work right there from the factory. We're just going to go over and make sure it's all smooth. And for the exhaust, we're going to go ahead and smoothen all that out around the valve guide right there. We're going to go over that back bump right there that you see that I'm shining at. And then there's a little bump right down there. See if I can get a good shot of it on camera. I have a bump going this way across the port right here. I just noticed there's like a B right there. But that bump we're going to smooth out and then we're going to take that little split right there and we're going to turn it into more of a point. You'll see all this more as I'm actually grinding it down. And the good part is we'll be able to go over stuff like that and get it all cleaned up and out of there. I don't know why. That one's so bad, it's really caked up there. The other ones aren't as bad. We're gonna get started on the intake side, and I'm gonna try to film it the best I can so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Hopefully, that'll work out. And I'll talk to you in between all the grinding I do.
you can see that bump is now significantly smaller. You can see if I can get a flashlight in there at the right angle. You can see a hole right there. I'll show you that better from the valve side of it, but that is where the rocker bolt comes through, right there. I also went ahead and cleaned up that little transition right there, just to make it a little bit smoother. While I'm on this side, you can see the difference, see how big that bump is. Then we go over here so much smoother. That allows a lot more air to get by there. Now for that we still got to finish this up. When we go on the valve side here there's still a little bit of a lip right to that side. You can see the hole right there. You got to get in there and clean that up a little bit with a pick. Get the shavings out of there. Once you get those shavings out, you're ready to put this back together. Most of those will come out when you wash it, but you got to get the ones that are still a little stuck. And then right, right there, you can kind of see that lip just coming up on the edge there. You just got to clean that up from this side. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to get to cleaning this up right here. See that transition's a lot smoother now. Kind of curls into here. So now we can get to work on our swirl area right up here. This is going to be the fun one to film. It's going to be really hard for me to be able to get in there and also show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm going to give it my best shot. Probably have to film at an angle. As you can see, that is a lot smoother now. It's all rounded off nicely, and the airflow coming up that is going to be a lot better. Here's a shot of the old one. You can see just how, if I can get a good focus, see just how different those two are. Just how much more flow you're going to get up this one than that. You got all those hard edges and it's got to go up that swirl there. That's going to be nice and smooth. Now let's go over and get all these lips smoothed out to go up into the valve seat. Then we'll be all done here. We'll just have to do some cleaning up and smooth it out.
Okay, we got that port all done. You can see just how smooth it all is. There is the hole. If I can focus, why does this camera not want to focus today? There's the hole for our rocker bolt. You can see that. Got a nice smooth transition all throughout that port there. Smooth it out going up to the valve seat. And get to this side, and you can see just how smooth it is in there. Looks really nice. No rocker bump. All smoothed out up there. All these transitions are smooth. Looks really good. And this is really all you need to do to one of these. Any LS cylinder head, you do this, and you'll get plenty of performance out of it. You can see just how big of a difference they have. Rocker bump, you have all those lips down in there. Nowhere near as nice. That's going to flow a lot better. See here too. Look how smooth that is. Nice and smooth transitions. Rough. Not going to flow nearly as well. You get really good flow out of that. Now let's go to the exhaust port I'll show you how to do those. These are a lot easier because they're a lot smaller. Okay, we need to start with the exhaust port. We're going to clean up this lip right here. And then we're just going to clean up all around our valve seat and our valve guide. That port's all done on this side. Nice and smooth going around the exhaust port. Smooth all that up. Looks a lot better. And then you can see it's nice and smooth and rounded out going all down that valve guide right there. There's the old one. You just see the ridge going around the whole end, edge of it. This one's nice and smooth and rounded so it just smooth, flows right over it. Now we're going to go do that side, which is a lot easier. It's pretty much just adding a little bit of a tail to this, just to streamline it, and then smoothing everything else out. Okay, here's the finished product. Both those ports look really good. Definitely a lot better flow out of those than you're going to get out of these. Okay, this side of the exhaust port. You see there's a little bump right about where you see the brightest spot of the flashlight right there inside the exhaust ports. It's really hard to see because of all this but what you want to typically want to do is take that and kind of turn it into a tail for the valve guide right there. Just bring a tail down out of it and grind it down on the sides. That helps with the flow a lot. See, we're on the sides, we're not really trying to take material off. We're just trying to smooth it out. That mostly on the exhaust ports here because 
We're trying to get all that built up carbon off of them. That one's going to be a pain. So just trying to get that carbon off and then smooth it out a bit. And the smoother you get that surface, which is why we sand it, the less carbon buildup you're going to get in the future. So that's why we sand that smooth a little bit. But that's how you guys can port your LS heads. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. But that's how you get it done. And it comes out really good. And I have a set of heads. I have 853s on my... 300ZX right now that have the same exact port job on them and they work fantastic. I haven't got any of these actually tested on a flow bench yet but I had know people who have had this same exact port job done by hand same exact way and they typically get about 40 CFM more on the intake and I think they get about 25 more on the exhaust so this really does help gets a decent amount more for these cathedral port heads so i'm gonna go ahead and spend the next couple hours doing the rest of these if you're wondering how long this job takes typically to do both heads you're looking at depending on how good you are maybe a six to eight hour job total because this does take a while to get it right and you got to be careful because if you eat too much off of it you are going to go into a coolant passage and then you either got to get the heads welded up or scrap, depending on how you feel about them. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm a mess right now because it's really hot outside right now, and I don't have an air conditioning garage. Maybe one day. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good day.